Some of our more popular videos with you guys have been right here in Ponte Vedra Beach. There is so much to like and truly something for everyone, which is why we are back in the community today to show you a little bit more of what Ponte Vedra Beach has to offer. From what locals love most to food and entertainment, we're gonna be covering it all, so let's get started. So if you're thinking about moving to Northeast Florida, Ponte Vedra Beach is probably already on your radar. It's located just outside of Duval County and it's just south of Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Now here in this 34 square mile community, you're gonna find housing from the luxury oceanfront homes that you'll see behind me, single family homes, townhomes, luxury condos, gated communities, you name it, there is something for everyone. Now, aside from housing, there are a handful of highlights in this community. We're not gonna have the opportunity to talk about them all today, but we will be focusing on a handful, including TPC Sawgrass, Sawgrass Village, and Michler's, which is where we are currently. Now, if you live here in Ponte Vedra Beach, you're probably gonna be frequenting Michler's Landing. This beach has a huge parking lot just off of A1A and even a boardwalk to bring you down onto the sand. This beach gets really popular on weekends. There's tons of activities to do. Early weekday mornings, like right now, you can find locals walking their dogs, just taking a stroll, fishing, and sometimes even surfing. So this beach is actually a really popular spot for shark teeth hunting and it's coquina sand, which at certain times of the day actually has a pink hue to it. Now, something you will probably notice is that this shoreline here is not as wide as beaches like Jacksonville Beach or even Bolano Beach just south of here. But again, if you live here in Ponte Vedra Beach for friends and family, this will probably be your go-to spot. Now let's hop in the car and check out the next location. So a quick note while we're on our way to our next location, we're currently driving down A1A, which is one of the main roads here in Ponte Vedra. It runs all the way from Neptune Atlantic Beach area up near the beach's town center, down to Volano Beach, which is right before the bridge, you go over to go down to like the historic downtown St. Augustine area. Now, if you live in Ponte Vedra Beach, you are going to be using this road a lot. It connects you everywhere, especially if you live in like the Southern Ponte Vedra Beach area, which is a little bit more removed from the commercial areas, the restaurants and stuff like that, which is where we're heading to now, near TPC Sawgrass and Sawgrass Village. So like I've mentioned, Northern Ponte Vedra Beach is gonna be a lot more commercialized than the Southern parts. So if you do live in Northern Ponte Vedra Beach, you're only gonna be within about a 10 minute drive to Sawgrass Village, which is where we are currently. Now on the other side of Sawgrass Village, you'll find Tournament Plaza, which has some more notable local businesses. We'll head over there in just a second, but there are a handful of favorites here, aside from your necessities like Publix, convenience stores and retail stores, such as Nona Blue, Aqua Grill, Metro Diner, Foxdale Coffee, Andiamo, and even a bike rental shop. So we've popped over to the other side of TPC Sawgrass's entrance here at Tournament Plaza. This is gonna be a lot more business and office oriented, but you do have a handful of great restaurants as well, including Pusser's, Ruth's Chris, and Poppy's Italiano. If you've got a four-legged family member, definitely check out Dog Beach as well. Now this stretch of Ponte Vedra Beach and this area in general gets really busy for certain times of the year. It's a great place to grab a drink and watch some games, as you can see the sports flags behind me, and of course for TPC Sawgrass. So let's head over there now and chat a little bit more about it. Now, one of the biggest things that brings people to Ponte Vedra Beach every year is TPC Sawgrass. Whether you're a resident or traveling from across the world, this is a great opportunity for you to come watch some of your favorite golfers. Now, as you may or may not know, there are a lot of courses here in Ponte Vedra Beach that are actually private. That being said, here at TPC Sawgrass, you may also have the opportunity to play the same greens as your favorite golfers as well. Now, as I started to touch on earlier, one of the bigger things to mention is how busy this area gets around that time of the year. Obviously, if you're an avid golfer or a huge fan of pro golf, may not be a bad thing to have this in your backyard, but if it's not necessarily your cup of tea, just keep in mind that there's gonna be a huge uptick in traffic and tourism. Now, if you aren't an avid golfer or you're just starting out, or maybe you don't wanna chuck up that pretty penny to pay on this course, you can head down the road and check out the yards. They have a 12 hole chip and putt course that you can check out as well. Also a great place to grab a drink, maybe play some pickleball or even grab a bite to eat. All right, well, I hope today gave you some more great content on what it's like to live here in Ponte Vedra Beach. If you have any more questions or you're thinking about moving here, please feel free to reach out to our team at info at therockogroup.com. Now, if you're not quite ready to make the move, but you're curious to learn more, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for more great videos and content on all things Northeast Florida. See you on the next one.